I don't consider myself an expert in electronics, so attempt this at your own risk. But whenever I find a broken appliance that has completely analog controls, I start thinking that I can repair it. There's the money shot right there. All your circuitry on one side. You even got the... You should think about it. Take a second. Mechanical bell timer, I love it. Two of them, actually. And it looks like whoever owned this before cooked something really nasty and greasy in it because it leaked all the way down into the feet. Okay, I am led to believe it is the switch that is the problem. Because every position I switch the switch, this dark red cable is not connecting to anything. An obvious giveaway is that this thingy is at an angle when it probably should not be. It probably like melted something in there. The switch, which is actually two switches in one, has seven positions. And I decided that, you know what, maybe I don't need seven cooking settings. So I deconnected a bunch of stuff, re-soldered a bunch of stuff. Okay, so my original plan was to add a whole new panel with a bunch of switches on it so I could independently turn on and off all the heating elements and the fan, but that would be a lot more work and I realized I could use the existing switches. So all I did was rewire a bunch of stuff and maintaining most of the functionality. I have the two timers Instead of having seven different cook settings, I'm only having two, okay? It's gonna be this timer turns on the outer heaters, and this timer turns on the inner top one for like, it's gonna be like heat and then extra heat because I realized the toast timer is probably on a different like time scale where that goes up to like an hour. This is probably, I don't know, 15 minutes. So it's like, you wanna cook it faster, just turn this one up too. And then the switch, since this entire back part is useless, I reutilized the front part and made it just to turn the fan on. And I realized the fan had two speed settings, but I could not find a combination that would satisfy being able to switch between the two. And I was too paranoid to try jumping these two together, even though it might be a third speed setting, but I didn't want to risk it. So it just, if it's on warm, it's off. If it's on anything else, it's on high speed. And then I had to, like solder the main lead to this one and then it connects to this and this and then the outlet from this one soldered onto here the outlet from this one soldered onto here and then I made a new cable to bridge these two or rather I just attached the terminal and now there's two hooked on there instead of just one and then the light bulb functions like it normally should and then the thermostat I hope it works that cuts the power off once the temperature sensor reads whatever temp you have it dialed to. I also added a grounded plug because I'm pretty sure metal housed appliances are supposed to have one. And now before I use it for the first time, gotta burn off all the bull crap that's in there. Yeah, like that. Oh wait, that's actually on fire. That's fun. Yeah, I don't think I want to toast anything in there right away. I'm guessing whatever the disaster that was cooking in here that made it this dirty is also the disaster that caused it to break from overheating or something. So that works out perfectly for me because now I can just burn it off now that it works again. Congratulations. I have the technology to toast toast. So there we go, I got my toast. I hope I didn't mess up this repair job in any unforeseen ways with downstream consequences that could be even more disastrous. And to that, I'm gonna enjoy some toast and eventually get into baking my own bread.